Hello there, welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to be looking at another important setting that you need to set in your camera before you start shooting your videos. Just like we saw last time it was resolution, this time the setting is called frame rate or also referred to as frames per second. Now you know that when you're shooting a video, we've already discussed this in the intro video, that a video is nothing but your camera, you know, shooting a lot of images together and then you're just, seri uh, you're just seeing these series of images, uh, you know, played together. That's why it comes across as a video. So these images are basically called as frames. So what your camera does is it shoots a lot of frames in one second. So even in within one second, it shoots multiple frames and then it just stitches them together uh, all these seconds and all these frames and that's how you come to see this video that for example the video that you're seeing right now and you have the option of telling your camera how many frames per second should it shoot for example a very common frame rate is 24 that would mean 24 frames per second there's 25 there's 30 frames per second there's 50 frames per second there's 60 frames per second there's even 120 frames per second so you can select all these options depending on what your camera allows. Not all cameras will have these different options. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Because in most of the things, how it works is when something is increasing, you kind of feel that something is better. So you might think that, okay, Kush, does it mean that if I have more frames, of sec uh, more frames per second, it's going to be a better video? Well, the answer to that is no. Each frames per second or each frame rate that you select is basically what it's going to do is it's going to change the look of your video. That's how frames per, uh, how, that's how frame rate goes. So it's not like one frame rate is better than the other frame rate. It just changes the overall look of your video. And we're going to be comparing later on in this video, we're going to be comparing two separate videos that I've shot at different frame rates just to see how it changes the look and feel of your video. Now, one of the very important settings that goes along with your frame rate is your shutter speed. So I'm sure you must have heard of shutter speed, especially if you already learned photography. So in photography, in still photography, shutter speed is nothing but, you know, how fast your shutter opens and closes when you take a shot. And you have a fast shutter speed like 1 by 100, 1 by 1000, 1 by 2000, uh, you know, and those fast shutter speeds usually just freeze your subject like an athlete running and if you take a shot at a fast shutter speed they come frozen and if you take a shot at a slower shutter speed like one by tenth one by fifth one second then it produces a motion blur so that's what happens in photography in videography shutter speed is not that important because of course you're not shooting anything still neither do you want to freeze something because of course it's a video but shutter speed at the same time is also very important and it doesn't usually change because what you're about to find out when i explain you shutter speed is that shutter speed will be set according to your frame rate right that's why i've put this video together saying frame rate and shutter speed so shutter speed is set according to the frame rate that we set and there's a relationship between the two and this is something that i want to explain you by going into our drawing board so once we go there we'll be talking about the relationship between frame rate and shutter speed and you will see how easy it is. The best part about videography is that shutter speed won't really change. Once you know this relationship, once you know how to set the shutter speed, it doesn't really change in the video. So shutter speed is not a very important component uh, which is going to change too often at least in videography as compared to photography. So what I want to do right now is that let's go into our drawing board. We're going to understand frame rate and shutter speed relationships so that you exactly know what to input in your camera. We're also going to be seeing later on in this video by uh, comparing two different videos which have been shot at different frame rates to see how frame rates affect your video, the look and feel of it. We're also going to be talking about which frame rate is the best for you to shoot at so you exactly know what frame rate you have to select at the end of this video. And then of course, like all videos, I'm going to be showing you how to set all this on your camera. First of all, let's go inside our drawing board. I'll see you there. All right, so in order to understand the relationship between frame rate or frames per second and shutter speed, uh, let's see how it all works out. So if you have your frame rate or I'm gonna call it FPS and here is your shutter speed. Okay, 
Now, before I get started, let me just tell you something very frankly. What I'm going to tell you right now is, is something that if you try to research on your own on YouTube or on your blogs, you know, you'll find a lot of debates going on. So it's, it's really like a Messi versus Ronaldo scenario where, you know, uh, a lot of people have different views and opinions about what is the correct relationship between frame rate and shutter speed. But what I do in such cases is, and I've been teaching for quite some time, and whenever there's a confusing situation like this on which there are a lot of opinions, what I'd like to do is, I like to tell you, that is my students, I tell, I like to tell you that um, do something that is done most often or is the most commonly followed approach by, you know, by the average person. So that's how I decide what is correct. So what I'm going to teach you here has a lot of debate going on, but I'm still going to tell you what most people do in the video world. So we're going to stick to that. And that particular thing is that whatever frame rate that you shoot. So for example, if let's say I shoot on 24 FPS, right? So and in a while we'll be seeing how to select the frame rate inside your uh, camera. But basically if you select 24 frame rate, then your shutter speed, whatever frame rate that you select, your shutter speed is going to be 1 by 2 into your frame rate or frames per second. So in this case, it's going to be 1 by 48 since 1 by 48 is not usually available on the cameras when we shoot at 24 fps for example we select the shutter speed as 1 by 50 so it's basically going to be 1 by double your frame rate that's what your shutter speed is going to be set in your camera now why is that the case because uh, there's a uh, you know there's a rule called the 180 degree shutter angle rule you really don't have to understand what that means you know all all you have to understand the reason why we do this is because when your shutter speed is too into the frame rate, it's just been proven that your video looks very natural for that frame rate that you're shooting. That's all you need to know. You really don't have to get into debates with people and research this too much because this can be broken easily. This rule which I'm telling you, a lot of people do break this rule and they still shoot videos. But like I said, I'm just teaching you something that is very easy to understand and most people follow this approach. So let's take another example. Let's say that you're shooting at 30 frames per second. And we're also going to be seeing, of course, later on that what is the difference between shooting at these different settings. Like for example, what will be the difference between 24 uh, FPS and 1 by 50 shutter speed as opposed to a different frame rate and a different shutter speed. But right now we're just talking about uh, this relationship. Right, so let's say if you're shooting at 30 frames per second, then can you guess what is going to be your shutter speed? So it's going to be 1 by 2 into your frame rate, so it's going to be 1 by 60. And let's take just one more example. Let's say if you're shooting at 50 frames per second. And in that case, it's going to be 1 by 2 into 50, so it's going to be your shutter speed will be set to 1 by 100. And let's say another popular FPS or frame rate is 60, in that case it's going to be 1 by 120 but a lot of cameras don't have 1 by 120 so in that case you just select the next one so that is going to be 125 okay so that's how easy it is so for that frame rate we select uh, you know 1 by 2 into the frame rate the shutter speed and that gives the most natural looking result for that particular frame rate that's why we do this right so now it's clear that what is the combination of frame rate and shutter speed that you will be setting now the question is which frame rate should you select when you are shooting now like I said the more the frame rate it doesn't mean that it's better all frame rates have different purposes of shooting and when you change the frame rates what's going to happen is it really changes the look of your video like we're just going to be seeing when we see two separate videos shot at two separate frame rates and you'll see that it completely changes the look but like I said I want to keep th things simple so in this video course we'll be selecting 24 FPS and therefore our shutter speed when we shoot our videos most in most of the cases in this course will be 1 by 50 this combination is the most widely used combination in the video making world most of the movies that you see are shot at these settings that is 24 frames uh, per second and 1 by 50 now I'm not saying all movies so please don't leave comments for debates I know there are a lot of movies which are shot at different frame rates one of them of course the standout one in the video world which is talked about a lot is the Hobbit right so your 
if you've ever seen that movie, it has a slightly different look uh, to, you know, to your other... Oh, something wrong with my pen here. Just one second. Yeah, Hobbit. That's how you spell Hobbit, yeah. Okay, so the Hobbit was actually shot at 48 FPS. So they really, you know, kind of went away from the norm and they shot it at 48 FPS just to create a slightly different uh, look. Now, why is 24 the most uh, commonly used frame rate? Well, that's because it's just been proven that the effect that you get off your video from shooting at 24 FPS and 1 by 50 shutter speed is the closest to how the human eye feels when we are looking at things. That's all you need to know. So it's the, you know, if you want to replicate the most realistic look in your videos, uh, this setting is the one you have to select 24 FPS and 1 by 50 because the kind of motion blur you get with this, the kind of look you get with this is very close to the real eye. So we like looking at this frame rate. Um, you also have 25 in some cases in some cameras, but if you have an option of 24 and 25, uh, in this course do select 24, though to be frank, most people would not be able to make out too much of a difference between 24 and 25. Uh, even 30 is okay. You can select 30 also. A lot of TV serials use 30. Uh, and But again, we'll be sticking to 24 because most cameras have this and this is the most widely used. Now, um, we're soon gonna be seeing two videos right now. One shot at 24 FPS and 150 shutter speed and another shot at 50 FPS at one by 100 shutter speed. And you're gonna see that, you're gonna find out that, th that these two similar videos look very different just because they have a different FPS and different shutter speed. Um, the higher frame rates like 60 FPS, you even have 120 FPS. Uh, these frame rates are also used a lot of times when you want uh, you know your subjects to be very crisp and sharp like in sports in action uh, and that is mainly the case because when you're using these high uh, frame rates your shutter speed is going up right so because you, we have this rule of one by two into frame rate and these higher shutter speeds just give a much more crisp looking video without much of a motion blur. So it may not look too natural, like we're about to find out when we see the 50 FPS video also. These higher frame rates video, they don't look very natural because you don't get a kind of a motion blur in these things. So if someone is moving, they look slightly robotic, right? But one of the main uses, uh, you know, apart from shooting action and sports, uh, one of the most popular uses of a higher frame rate, like let's say 60 or 120 or even 50 is that if you're planning to convert your videos into slow motion later on through editing, then we use the higher frame rates because as the name suggests, you're capturing more frames per second, right? So when you slow down your video, your software has got more frames to work with and therefore your slow motion when it stretches, it has more frames and therefore it's more smoother and much better looking when you have more frames per second. That's why we shoot slow motion videos are usually first when you're shooting the video that you want to ultimately turn into slow motion. They're usually shot at higher frame rates and we have a dedicated section on slow motion. So we're going to see that later on in this course. But most of the time you'll be shooting in this course, especially later on, you can experiment with the look and feel of things because ultimately uh, videography is very subjective, very artistic. You can do whatever you want. But like I said, in this course, we're going to be following some norms. So we're going to be sticking to this particular frame rate, right? Now I'm going to show you how to select this frame rate and then of course, how to set your shutter speed also. But before that, what I want to do is that we'll be looking at two videos, one shot at 24 frame rates and one that I've shot at 50 frame rates. So the shutter speed for the first one is one by 50. So it's 24 and one by 50 and 50 and one by 100. We're going to watch these two videos just to see what kind of a difference comes, you know, the, in the look and feel of the video when you shoot it at different frame rates. And after that, we're going to go into our camera and we're going to see how to select this particular frame rate and set your shutter speed to this. So if you're getting confused by all the things that I said, just remember, you can just mug this up. You're going to set your frame rate at 24 and your shutter speed at 1 by 50, just like I'm going to be showing you. And most of the time, this won't change that's the best part about uh, videography right first of all let's have a look at these two videos 24 versus 50 let's go there <laughs> 